Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making two sets of 3D flower resin coasters. After mixing my Part A and Part B resin together for a few minutes, I pour it into a separate cup, which I'll be using to pour into the molds. I poured it a little too fast, so there are a lot of air bubbles, but as you can see, they rise to the top and pop on their own. I should have placed the mixing stick into the cup and poured onto the mixing stick, and that way you'll get a lot less bubbles. I'm mixing a little bit more, just to be extra careful that my resin is well mixed, and I am using a high viscosity resin, so it is a little bit thicker than the resin that I usually use, which is a low viscosity resin. Once I'm sure that the resin is mixed well, I start to pour the resin into my silicone molds. And I'm doing my best to make sure that there is an even amount of resin in all of the molds. As usual, I'll leave affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that I'll be working with in this video, be sure to check that out. I'm using a torch gun to pop any air bubbles, and you need to be extra careful when using a torch gun that you don't burn your resin or your silicone mold, so you should always move it in a very quick manner. Then I get some smaller cups ready to separate my resin to be able to add the pigments. I'm going to be adding in three different colored pigments, one of which I'll use for both sets, but the main colors will be different in these two sets. If you're just getting started with resin, I would highly recommend working on one set of four at a time. The first pigment I'm going to be using is Casting Craft, and it's a white opaque pigment. I'm going to be adding it into two of the cups. One will remain white, and in the other one, I'm going to be adding in red pigment as well. For the red pigment, I'm starting off with this Color Fun Deluxe in the shade Oxide Red and I add a few drops and mix it in together. It turned out a little more dull than what I was aiming for, so I decided to add a few drops of the true red as well. After that's all mixed in well, I move on to do my next pigment and I'm going to be using a pink shade of mica powder. For the center, I'm going to be using these small black rocks, so I pour some into a small cup which has a tiny bit of resin. And I'll also be mixing in some gold leaf flakes. Then with a wooden stick, I add it into the very center of the molds. Now I'm going to be adding in my red pigment, and I'm using a wooden stick to sort of drag the pigment through the resin. I start off by making a circle around the center, and then decide to do some strokes around the mold, which ends up kind of looking like rose petals. I wanted to try out a slightly different technique for my second set, so with my white pigmented resin, I pour it from the cup into a circle. Here there was something in the way when I was pouring into a circle, so my hand kind of freaked out as you can tell. At first I tried to fix it, but I decided to just go with it and made a similar motion around the other molds. Then I take my pink pigmented resin and make a small circle around the center in all eight of the molds. And I add a little bit more of the red pigmented resin.
Next, I'm using a wooden stick to drag through from the outer edges of the mold into the center to create the shape of flower petals. I do this to each mold and make a little swirly motion in the center. And I repeated this several times to make it more defined. And here's a clip of me demolding the coasters the next day. Both sides look nice, but I find while making 3D flowers, the bottom side usually comes out nicer in my opinion, so I am going to be making the bottom side the top for all of these coasters. I added a heat resistant top coat and a gold trim. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video subscribe to see more videos like this in the future follow me on my instagram summer girl designs and my mom's instagram wild heart resin art